Hello guys, good morning. Today is a humid, holy humidity, Batman. I probably just better go get a ponytail holder right now for my hair because it's not gonna go well. But today is <clears throat> an exciting day. My mom and I are up early to load up. <coughs> Still got a frog in my throat. To load up the horse trailer with Miss Denali because we are trailing her back up to North Carolina to our friend who is a horse trainer. Sorry, I had to fix the settings on the dang camera. But my mom and I are trailering Denali back up to North Carolina today to take her to a horse trainer where she is going to begin her refresher course in allowing humans to ride her. So she has been ridden before. Um, my mom got her from someone who uh, had trail ridden her. My mom has ridden her a handful of times, but uh, she has sort of been standing without being ridden. So we're gonna go ahead and send her back to training. Uh, it really is kind of like a refresher course for her. Now the secret is, is that I'm doing this so that I can ride her uh, because you all guys know how much you guys, y'all guys, y'all guys yeah that works uh you guys know how much i love this horse and so um we're sending her to training and hopefully she will be available for me to be able to ride now the key to that is in the interim i need to start riding again it's been a while since i've ridden i was thinking about that this morning i think the last time i rode a horse was when kennedy and i rode on the beach in charleston when we were on our rv trip I think that might be the last time that uh, I've ridden a horse so it didn't go terribly so we'll see but uh, Denali is young and full of life and spirit and all of that so I'm gonna bring you guys along for that and then that probably what will be even more exciting to you is that we're coming home with two new animals so this has actually been in the works for a couple of months now and they are ready to go. So it just worked out that my mom and I were already gonna be, the, this farm is three hours away. My mom and I were already gonna be two hours up to take Denali. So we're like, let's just go the extra hour and go pick them up. So um, I'm excited <laughs> to share with you guys what we'll be bringing home. I don't know if they'll be in the thumbnail or not. So I don't even know if it's worth making you guys wait to see. You could probably guess, oh, I wish we had comments so that you could guess right now. You could probably guess, um, oh, my hair's already driving me crazy. I can feel it, the humidity. I gotta get my hat and a hair tie. Um, I just washed my hair. I wash my hair like once a week and on the days that I wash it, I like to be able to like curl it and wear it looking you know, somewhat cute for like the first day or two, but no luck. Not more Lotties, uh, but it is two more goats. So we are getting two full-size Nubian female goats. I'll explain more later, but I'm very excited. They are absolutely adorable. I love Nubian goats. It's Ray Ray and Louie are half Nubian, half Nigerian, and, and uh, Tiana and Lottie are both Nigerian dwarf goats. So these goats are full Nubian, so they will be larger than Louie and Raymond. Hopefully they'll put them in their place a little bit too. Anyways, they're absolutely adorable. I can't wait to share their names with you guys, and uh, we'll do that today. And we're gonna meet them today. We're gonna go pick them up, and then we're gonna ride home for three hours with goats in our lap. Uh, we will not be bottle feeding these goats. They will be on water and hay and feed. So I'm collecting all those items to bring in the car with me so that they have everything that they need. What kind of trouble are you gonna get into while I'm gone? la di da di da She's the G-O-A-T. la di da di da She's the G-O, don't you eat my flowers. Man. I don't know why this goat is so particular about what she leaves alone and what she eats. Like she really hasn't messed with my potted flowers, but man, does she like those roses in the back. We see you, we all see you. la di da di da la di da di da Okay, let me gather the stuff and go help because last time my mom went to put Denali on the trailer, she was not having it. So hopefully we can get her on the trailer, okay. The horses are all talking. They're trying to figure out who's going. They see the horse trailer, they're like, who's going? <laughs> Denali, are you excited? She's like, not really. Yeah. All right, adding my stuff. I'm gonna bring my computer so I can try to work a little bit. And I've got a feed bucket and some towels. This is the saddle we're taking for, cause Denali is part quarter horse, part halflinger. So she has a really wide back. Uh, so she needs a saddle that the tree is nice and wide um, for her back. So 
<clears throat> my mom's taking her saddle, which I may end up buying from her if I start riding Denali because that's what I need. Anyways, and then we put this down, or my mom put this down in case the goats just want to sit back here. Then we've got this canvas thing to protect the seats, and I've got some towels. Again, I don't know how big they are, so we might just let them sit back here, or we I'll just hold them. I don't know. We'll figure that out. <laughs> Paper towel cleaner in case they pee and poop. I'm going to grab some food, and yeah, I think that should be everything. <laughs> You got your fly mask on? She says, you guys are just trying to blind me. You think I can't see where we're going? <laughs> I can see through this thing. No more big idea. Let's just hope and pray that this is just quick and easy. <laughs> we hear you, Mia. You want me to go try to distract Mia? No, it's okay. So, you just, want me to I go? I always want to double check that that door is not locked. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah um. Ooh. Hi, darling. You Denali, to... there's a lot of hay in here. Hi, sweetie. Come here. You want to see what's in this trailer? It's the best ever. You need to come look. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, look here, sweetie. Ooh, look at all that hay. Hey, girl, hey. Come on, come Take on, a come look on. Around, sweetheart. Come on. Isn't that great? Come on, you get your ride with it. Come on. Come on, Nolly. Come on, Nolly. Come on, Nolly. It's a good baby girl. Come on, baby girl. Come on. Yeah. Good stuff in here. Come on. Yeah, look here, Nas. Nolly. Look here. You want some of this? Yeah, you can take a second. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Yeah. You want to go with us? You want to go with us? I know the sure fire. I'm going to go get young lady. Come on. All right. She's well, on. It's just finding the secret, but... I feel like we need that SpongeBob thing that's like 45 minutes later. Like the little turned thing. <laughs> Whoo! Now, Mom and I both look like poo because we're all sweaty and our hair went flat. But she's on. She's on. Unfortunately, her most of her trailering experiences have been to the vet, so she doesn't have a good. Um, she doesn't have a good connotation with the trailer. It's like that's what takes me to the vet. So it's just a matter of working with her and trailering her for things that are fun and that she enjoys too. You know, so she learns a trailer isn't doesn't mean vet pokes and whatever fists up my booty, whatever they do to her at the vet, you know. <sighs> and now we're going to get on the road. <laughs> and the fact that she's young and you know. Yeah, she's that. very young. How old is she? Four? Yeah, she's not even really officially turned four yet. Yeah, she's not even four yet. So if that tells you anything. Horses stay young, considered young, till, till what? Six. Till they're six. Well, yeah, I mean, some are better trained at two or three, but right we don't start but mentality young. wise it makes sense for them to be a little to sure toddlery at three or four years old as well okay whoo you know some kids have like old souls and you can see at three years old they're very mature and calm and others at three years old are wild and brazen oh, shit, here comes my dad he's gonna be like y'all are still here <laughs> I wonder if it's like a metal, huh? I wonder if she built this or bought the house. No, she bought it. Um, okay, they used somebody to, must have. Yeah, they used to live up off of 218 past right. Sam, and then they bought this. This so is my they, first time being here, but this is not my mom's first time being here. Denali's like, oh, thank goodness, are we here? She needs to move when you say move and that kind of thing. Right, I mean, when Linda Hoover worked with her, Ooh, she said, the good grass. Think, yes, she is. That's why this hall. She's the totally most food driven. Eating. She's totally food driven. Yeah. But Linda said she wants to learn. She doesn't want to hurt anybody. You? You got lots right of good now, I don't like these two people here very much. I know. She's <laughs> like, I'm mad at you guys. Hey, sweetie. Are you excited? You're going to be a good girl. 
think it has so she much said, not really, fun. but I will try. She's like, well, she got good grass. Yeah, <laughs> I like, I like this lady. She has clover. Do you want to go cut Susan's yard? You want to cut her yard? Yeah. Come on, babies. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes, come see me. Yes, come see me. Yes, hi. Hi. Yes. Oh, you're so sweet. You're like a puppy. This year, because she still had her baby coat, I had to shave her. I had to body clip her because she would not shed this. <laughs> Dark. All right, we stopped for some Uyghurs. We left a little while ago, what, an hour ago at this point? Um, but now the clouds have taken over. It's dark and not good. We still have to <clears throat> probably another hour to get to where the goats are. And then we'll, hopefully it won't be pouring rain there where we have to get in and get them. Uh, um, it's already 3.30. It's just everything today has taken longer than we anticipated. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. We want coffee, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Instead, I'm going to eat my burger. Get some goats. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat before the goats get in the car so they don't try to eat my burger. <laughs> Girls. Okay, well, I might have misjudged whether or not the goats could ride home on my lap. <laughs> You're a little big for that, huh? What it's a good doing? thing. They're like, where are we going? Okay. It's okay, okay honeys. You girls are so much prettier even than you looked in pictures. Yeah, they're so, so sweet. Pretty. They are twins, so they're actual sisters now we just have to decide who gets which name who gets which name hmm hmm who wants what name what do you think we have to stick with the princess and the frog theme although gosh they have the most beautiful eyelashes and big and just those ears are the best you better put that hind end down girl <laughs> okay i got home late last night and put the two new baby girl goats in their stall and now I've got hold on baby I've got a okay so now we're all gonna go out and visit and meet them real quick he's gonna go oh look my flower bloomed that one hadn't bloomed yet yeah yeah which one this pink one right here she's she's like bucking and throwing her head all right let's go uh, we're going to introduce them to the other barnyard animals a little bit later when I have Kennedy and CR and we just want to give them, they're, they're pretty um, nervous, definitely more nervous than any of our other animals. You guys are soaking wet. Um, so we're going to do this slowly, the introductions to the other animals and everything. Hi ladies. Hi Swamp Monster. You have one earlier. Okay. There you go. It's all right, girls. Oh, you like it? You smell it? Good job. Good girl. Good job. This one looks chubby, Mommy. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You got those goats for us? Yeah, I got some goats for us. Oh. You love them? Look at their big floppy the ears. The bay one is so shy. I totally misjudged last night. Yeah. I was assuming the bay one was more friendly because they kept like coming up. Yeah. But they. I'm probably bay. gonna. Um, the bay one needs to be. Yeah. Like as Anne Ashley says, what? we need to force love upon them. Look under behind her butt. I mean, that's just her tail. <laughs> there you go. Other than uh, it's okay. Uh, Millie, wake up. Millie, Millie, careful. Don't grab her face. She's not like the other girls. She doesn't like having her face grabbed yet. Millie, 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 Millie,
the vlog was kind of all over the place, which it always is when I'm trying to film when we're like out doing stuff like that. Um, I just feel like it's always all over the place and it was stressful, fine. Excuse me, Eliza, Hamilton. I told Shelby, I'm like, gosh, we really missed the mark when we, when you got the pigs, we should have named them Bettina and Belinda. If you guys know the Muppet Christmas Carol movie is one of my favorite movies and Kermit and Miss Piggy's two daughters are named oh, Bettina and Belinda. I'm Bettina. No, I'm, I'm Belinda. I love that movie. Um, anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that uh, we got into some really bad storms, which is stressful when you're pulling a horse trailer, even if it's empty without a horse in it. And people just are the worst drivers in terms of like pulling out in front of, uh, we saw this when we had our camper and stuff too, in terms of pulling out in front of people that are hauling things. Like, just know, if you've never hauled anything before and you're in a car, if you see that a car is coming and you're gonna decide to turn right or turn left or whatever, and that car or truck is pulling a camper or a horse trailer or something like that, just know that you should give them extra, extra, extra space and room because it is so hard to stop those things and stop them quickly. And most of the time, you can't. That's just my little PSA if you're ever is that a storm? What is that noise? Or is that construction across the street? I can't tell. Anyhow, so it wasn't supposed to rain today and I am very discouraged to see that it's incredibly overcast and it looks like it is going to rain because I have a million things to do. I've got to get my porch cleaned up over here and get the stock tanks cleaned out that we used for the chickens and the ducks. We do have another round of chickens that are coming in early August. Those are our silkies. Uh, I also have a huge box here of potato seed starters basically. So. Uh, I need to cut all these up and let them, I was hoping it wasn't going to rain because it's not supposed to rain tomorrow or the next two days after that. So I need to cut all these up and then you kind of let the sides dry out. And I also need to take the tractor down to where we're going to plant the potatoes and till up. It's all on a different side of our property that we don't normally plant on, but I've got a ton of potatoes here. I've got some red Pontiacs, Yukon Golds, and then I think I have another order coming that's got some shallots and just some other things in it that I need to get in the ground ASAP. But they need to be cut up and dried out and I don't have, don't think I'm gonna be able to do that given the weather today. I also have to build my trellises for my tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchinis. Uh, they're growing big enough now that they really need their trellises in place to grow properly. So I've got a bunch of things to trellis in the garden. But I wanted to give you guys an update. So the baby girl goats, uh, they are definitely um, the most nervous out of any of our goats, but I just think that that's simply because uh, they came from a dairy goat farm and the woman who runs it was like the nicest, one of the nicest humans I've ever met. I could have sat and talked to her all day. She was just a, such a genuine and kind person and loves her animals so much and takes such good care of them. So I was really happy about that. But um, she, it's her and her husband that run this and they have a number of goats that gave birth this year. Anyways, my point is, is that I don't think they've been handled a ton. They've been with their mom and they haven't been handled a ton other than to get their wormer and uh, things like that. So the only interaction they've really had with people is like, hey, you stick things in my mouth or nose or butt and so they don't love it. So I think this is a situation where it's going to be a patience thing and a time thing where if we spend a lot of time with them and help them to see that like we're not we're not going to hurt you. It's tough because they are they are much bigger than our other goats were when we brought them home. So even though they are young, they are much bigger. So they can, they're, they're strong. They could definitely, uh, you know, get away from you if they really want to. And we just want to make sure that because Nubian, full-size Nubian goats are much larger than the other goats that we have, we want to make sure that when they're adults, uh, they are friendly and do well with all the other animals. Um, I'm sure I'll get lots of questions. I can't remember if we talked about this in the Q&A videos. I will link those actually, because I did two Q&A videos on my Angela Braniff channel recently answering all of y'all's farm related questions. And so I will link those down below and someone who watched the video, because they were very long, I mean two hours basically, 
well, an hour each almost. Well, somebody who watched the videos was so kind as to do the timestamps for me. So I think I pinned those comments on both videos so that you can find the timestamps. So there's tons of questions answered and you can go look at the timestamps if you just want to look for certain things. These are full size Nubians. And so not only are they, will they be fantastic dairy goats should we decide to breed them. Uh, we do not have a buck on the farm. If we were going to breed them, we would probably uh, either do AI or take them somewhere. Sometimes you can get together with other people who have um, males, have bucks, and you can leave them with them for a little bit and let the breeding stuff happen and then bring them back. So there's a lot of options. So I don't want to feel like I'm like talking in circles to explain this stuff to you guys or like over explaining something that you're like, duh, we know that. But yeah, so I just want to cover my bases to make sure everybody's like on the same page and we understand. So we haven't talked much uh, on this channel. I don't know if at all, I've talked a little bit on Instagram and maybe a little bit on my Angela Brandon channel about some of our long-term goals for the farm. But my hope and the reason that we have these animals, that we're getting them young, we're handling them so much and wanting them to be so people friendly is because we do have intentions that hopefully someday they can be sort of therapy animals. So the same thing goes for the two Nubian girls. Uh, we will potentially use them for milk eventually. But again, those things are down the road because they need to be old enough to be bred and then have a baby and then they'll be in milk. So that's, that's down the road. We may do that, um, but we're also just working on desensitizing them and getting them to the place where they like people and want to be around us and spend time with us and stuff so that they could hopefully be a part of a future therapy program um, if that's something that we're able to do down the road. So hopefully that explains that. I didn't share their names because I'm not 100% certain. Initially, I thought I knew what I wanted to name them, but then when I saw them, I kind of struggled with the names. So I need to talk to the kids and CR and see what they think and get them to weigh in um, if they are cool with picking different names or if they want to keep the names we'd initially talked about. So. I've kind of gotten into this like like getting to know them a little bit and seeing like which name fits them of the ones that I like. So that's kind of what we're doing as well. The kids have all been great. They've been helping me go out there and just sit with them and love on them. And that's just what we're going to work on over the next few days is just hanging out with them. Uh, we're slowly going to introduce them to the other animals. So it's just going to be a process of getting to introduce everybody. Uh, I feel like with Lottie and Tiana, they were so like happy-go-lucky that once they were big enough it was kind of easy to do the introduction but these girls are just so nervous that I'm trying to balance between scaring them to death by introducing them to these llamas and all of this but also maybe they'll see them and be like oh look other goats and they'll be happy about it you know so we'll see that's all part of the process but uh, I'm going to continue to vlog and everything I need to start tackling my to-do list and wrap this video up because it's probably been insanely long I'm excited to not at training and I'll keep you guys posted on that and I in the meantime I'm going to need to get my butt onto another horse I think I'm going to ride Cooper not today but I'm going to start riding Cooper a little bit so I can get myself refreshed so that when Denali's been through training for a few weeks we'll be able to go back down visit for the day um have the susan the trainer like update us on how she's doing and then my mom and i'll both be able to ride her and all of that kind of stuff so i need to be ready for that i just haven't ridden in so long so anyways time to unpack my trellises clean my porch do all the things thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys again very soon bye